<coughs> Hello ladies, uh, it's me Penny at Penny's Place. Thought I'd just pop on to show you I've finished um, this mermaid. Um, that I'm, in, I'm in a group that's doing um, anything crafty mermaids with Cal Wivington on Facebook she is. Um, and she, as I say, she's doing this like, little thing it's going to carry on until August. So you can do one, you can do as many as you like and any different um, kind of craft that you do. So I've already sent in the... Um, I've already shown the, the bookmark I did. So I went a bit bigger this time and this is a, a mixed media, as you can see, on, um, on canvas. Uh, I don't know the measurement of it. Uh, I think there was one bigger than this, and then I thought, no, I think I'll leave this. This is 20 centimeters by 30, 38. Yeah, 38 centimeters. So that, that is, I'm just putting that back. So I, I can't really show it you this way round unless it was just in little sections I'll keep passing it off anyway the base just had fun with lots of different coloured um, greens and blues but I wanted it naturally a lot lighter up here um, as if this uh, the the sun and that was coming through at the top now it would be a little bit darker at the bottom but not too dark uh, I outlined where the mermaid's going to be and I didn't want a central or anything like that um, and I'm not very good with faces um, that's an understatement I'm hopeless at faces <laughs> so I usually do the back of a mermaid um, I did manage to do her arm in a fashion anyway and that's her body and they're coming down to her tail so as so I just outlined it um, and then I've painted it in, oh, I couldn't tell you all the colours that I've used, so I think it's not a bad job anyway. Um, the little brass strap is some ribbon, silk ribbon I dyed, hand dyed, um, so I just put that in really nice colours. Uh, the whole, I worked myself down the whole, um, tail is made of shells here. I did show you in the last video how I was arranging them and then I've over painted them with a lot of pearl pearlescent type acrylic paint in your sea greens and shimmer greens and blues etc. Um, now I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the tail. I didn't want it to be shells again. And then I remembered I had some angel hair. I've got a little bit there, but I've got a bit more somewhere. Where's it gone? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It always goes, doesn't it? So angel hair, which is um, similar to this, but and I pressed it and they all stick together so you can cut it then into um, what shapes and that you want. So... First of all, underneath the um, tail, you has got a hair or something there. Underneath the tail, I did put strips of um, ribbon, well, um, cord, I'd say it was, underneath, you know, to get that rippled effect in the, um, in the tail ribs. But you couldn't really notice it, even though I'd um, pressed it in. So I've added a sparkly thread in the same colours on top just to get that illusion of them veins that come in the, in the tail. So I did that and then where it all joined I just put another shell. The shell's at the bottom, uh, right mixture, there's even a little bit of uh, nice sea glass um, here and there. Um, little bit of stones which I've painted um, for the flowers of the uh, coral I've put sequins in 
just because I can <laughs> and I've peeled in the where the holes would be with just a little bit of um, perfect pearls so that's that uh, the starfish the dollar uh, and something else I think it's the oh yes the uh, the seahorse I made using I did show you gulk and silicone this has got a little this make this is Soudale this has got a little bit of um, oops where you gone this has got a little bit of silicone in it but not a lot so uh, I just add a little bit more usually two parts gulk to one part I'd say silicone but you don't need much in it I just uh, and, it, and then it makes it bendable and you don't get that very thick uh, model that you would get if you were using um, air dry or polymer clay so you get a thinner a thinner a much thinner mo uh, mode mold yes also I wanted some kind of seaweed growing up and the nearest I could come to was this wool here which is lovely and it's got little bits of green fabric all the way through it so I've stuck some of that down I didn't repaint it I thought no I'll leave it just the green there is a little piece of real coral there which uh, I don't intentionally buy because um, I don't think we should <laughs> the the coral underneath is uh, made with um, modeling paste and I just did the shape and then with a plastic knife uh, did lines going up and did a textured effect. Uh, I think you can see here I've got um, jellyfish, three little jellyfish and they were done with the same same thing, the modelling paste, with just the like a shape of a jellyfish with legs. Little fishes, there's a couple of them are wooden ones and I've done the, their bubbles coming up. I think they were done with um, liquid pearls then. Around the outside of the, f the fish I had found this wire uh, wrapped around with this gold thread so I used that as an outline around her um, fish tail there. Um, what else did I do? I'm trying to think. Her hair her hair is made with this wool. Can you see it? I just knew I'd be using it one day. I've got a couple of colours in this and it's lovely and lovely and soft as well. So I didn't know what I wanted to do, whether to plait it or anything. But uh, in the end I've just let her have it loose. But what I have done through her hair is so um, this thread, this there's a few strands there uh, so I split them and I've sewn them through um, through her locks so she's got a little bit of a shimmer her crown I did a I did a coronet of um, baby shells around it and then uh, this is a perspex flower that you you can put another flower in if you know what I mean it's just a, a lovely shiny perspex flower so I split it and I used three of them for part of a crown there we go and then a little like little glass gem at the top so I think it's quite a nice um, little crown for her she's got a little bracelet on of uh, two tiny shells so I think I've um, I think I've gone through everything. I did enjoy making this, um, and I thought a little there's a little crab there, a little wooden crab I had, so I painted him up as well. So I think I've gone through everything, ladies. Uh, lots of shells and beads and things like that. So I just kept adding to a little bit more each day and uh, going back to it. So I have started another one but I'm not sure which way I'm going with that yet. 
so I might go off mermaids for a week or two and then come back to it because um, it's running till let's say about August and there's all sorts of things ladies are doing, knitting and crocheting, uh, diamond painting, beautiful colouring in, um, painting and stuff and um, so lots and lots of ideas that you can do connected with a mermaid so I'd like to see some more different um, work as well um, and that's about it ladies a uh, few more bubbles down there where I've done some more fish where is it? there he is there and um, I'll try and give you a good show like that I think might be better I can't really do him like do her like that because she's the wrong shape so we'll have to tilt her next I think <laughs> just have a look at it properly but I like her she's got a nice little shimmer to her as well and um, without spraying her hair I will spray her with uh, uh, some sealant just a matte sealant but I'm a bit worried because I don't want the shine to go off it either so I'm, I'm debating about that I boy, that's it, that's done. Thank you very much for watching, ladies. Uh, what time is it? It's gone 12 o'clock, so um, I'm going down for some lunch. Maybe Mr Pitt will join me, my little, my um, lunch partner. I miss having lunch with my friends, the girls, but it's going to happen soon. I had my um, second injection last, last night uh, on my right arm. It's the Pfizer one I've been having. Um, so now, uh, in a couple of weeks anyway, I should be much more safe to go out <laughs> and meet other people from a distance. And, uh, but yeah, it's a very, very good idea, I think, this, this injection. So, and I do think we're going to be having to have it every year. I think. I think this horrible virus is turning out to be a bit like the flu virus, something we've got to try and protect ourselves from on a yearly basis. So, uh, yeah. So I'll come back when I'm doing something else. I don't know what I'm going to go on to next. I do fancy doing some sewing or a bit more embroidery. So uh, we'll see anyway. Thank you again for watching, ladies. Stay safe. And please leave your comments and if you like it. And I'm welcome to any new subbies. I did notice I had a couple of extra subbies. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, we'll speak soon. Bye for now.